Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mrs. Seekon. In this video, it's a very brief topic, but it's a really fun one that you can use in your classrooms. You can use it with any grade. Uh, okay, so which is we are going to talk about Kahoot, how to assign a Kahoot to your students from a Teams. Okay, it's very easy. You just need to do two things. It's a lot of uh, uh, just clicks. Um, one, make sure you have your Kahoot account. Second, make sure you have your Teams account. Okay, so first what we are going to do, we're going to add a Kahoot to our Teams. Then we're going to go back to our uh, Kahoot account and then I will teach you how you can add uh, Kahoot into your Kahoot account. Then they will automatically show up in the Teams. All right, so let's quickly add. Click on make sure you are in your Teams, in your class. Okay, so we'll click on that plus sign. And here we're going to search for Kahoot app, which is right here. All right, so now you will have a different option here, which will be log in. I already logged in a few minutes ago, so then it's not going to ask me again. So once you logged in, you are going to see Add Kahoot this page here. We'll click on Add Kahoot. This is optional. You don't have to if you don't want to it's not something super important so I'll click on add kahoot click on save all right so here is my kahoot account so these are the ones i have played so far with my kids or i was just testing how to add them into teams See, I, I only see few of them, but what if so you want something else? Okay, that is something you have to go to your Kahoot account and add that there. And then you all you do, just click on refresh, it will pop up here. Okay, so now let me show you how to add that into your Kahoot account. So go to my Kahoot account, make sure you're logged in, and then what you're going to do, click on discover. And let's search for any you want. So I'll do polynomials. Normally, uh, I always search for math ones. Okay, so polynomials. What you did so far with your students, all you did, you click on that and click a play. But now it won't show up in the Teams. So first, you have to add. Okay, so click on the one you want to uh, add it to your team. So let's say I want to do adding and subtracting polynomials. And then what you need to do, click on those little three uh, dots here. I'll click on it. Click on duplicate. Okay. So when you do the duplicate part, it um, will add it to your account. It gets it added there. So now this is my, the one I just added. Okay. Uh, when I go back to my teams, I'll click on a refresh button. See, now I will see that polynomial one. So the one thing is, uh, you don't want to have the word duplicate. You can change the name there. So what it will, we are going to do, we're going to change the name here. You're going to click on Edit Option. Internet is a little bit slow. Okay. All right. So we will click on the setting option. Okay. So here. You can make all those changes here. So you can even say adding a polynomial, math 10. I will make my own name, whatever I want. Math 10, lesson 1, introduction to polynomials. Okay. And here you can add a description. Just put the dates there whenever it's due. And nothing else you can do. Or if you want to have a video, you can attach a YouTube video link there for kids um, if they want you want them to watch something prior to playing a Kahoot. So we'll click on done and click on the next done. Okay, click on done. As I said, there are a lot of clicks. You don't need to type them much. So I'll go back to my teams here. See now it still says a duplicate. All you need to do click on refresh. And here we go. See, Math 10 Lesson 1 Introduction to Polynomial. 
Okay. Um, so this is all you have to do to bring a Kahoot into your Teams account. So now we are going to assign that to our kids. So click on play. You want to use a teach or for assign. So either way, whichever option is applicable to you, I'll click on assign. You can assign that to students. Here you can pick the date, Wednesday 26th, whatever time. Question timer, do you want to have the timer? I do recommend have the timer there. Randomize answers, that's optional, up to you. Nickname generator, please make sure you have that. Don't ever um, always have it on. Uh, no, always have it off. Because you don't want kids to um, write their own names. When they write their own names, they pick different names. Something is not appropriate. Um, but still, I always leave it off. I always do the nickname generate. I never let them type their names. Okay, let's we'll click on create. I should have done click on yes. Okay, uh, so what? just going back to what I just said, always um, let the nickname generator option enabled because I never want them to put their names. It depends on what type of kids you have, how they um, how serious they are. So every teacher is different. All kids are different. But I always, uh, I only had a bad experience once since then. I never let them type their names. Okay. So now we already assigned. When I go back to my general on my post, so you will see it has been assigned right there. It's already assigned. When students do um, now, students will see that in on their screen. They'll play, and you will see whoever has finished and whoever hasn't finished it yet. Okay. All right. So this was all briefly. <laughs> Make sure you are in your Teams, um, in your class, and click on plus. I search for word Kahoot. Just add your Kahoot there. And one thing, just remember that only those, the one you duplicated, they are in your Kahoots page, my Kahoots. Those are the only one will show up in your Teams. If you need to add more, you have to um, search the one you wanted and then click on um, duplicate that one, which I just showed it to you. So it's very simple, very easy. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if you want me to make any other videos, some sort of request, please let me know. Uh, as I said before in the previous video, um, I'm very new to YouTube. This is something I'm learning as well as being a virtual teacher. And there's a couple of videos I made and a I am so happy that making one or two videos, I got already 150 subscribers and there are like 15,000 views on one of my video. And thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't uh, forget to subscribe. And uh, from now on, I will be making one video, of, of course, every day because going back to school in two weeks and then I will have enough time to plan my uh, YouTube videos. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.